Hallo Leute, guten Tag, guten Tag, ich bin da. Hallo alle zusammen. Ich heiße Kujbul Alwani und ihr seht Deutsche Freundschaft. Mein Name ist Kujbul Alwani und ihr seht Deutsche Freundschaft. Today in this episode we are going to learn for. Now V O R. Now so far we have learned for as a preposition. That means in front of, right? So for example I want to say I am standing in front of the door so I will say ich stehe vor der Tür ich stehe vor der Tür but how are we going to use for in the different ways like if I want to say um, out of anger then also we use for now how do we use that what is the rule of it that we are going to learn today so make sure that you watch this video till the end and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to Deutsche Freundschaft and let's start the video fangen wir an So, one benutzt man for. When does a person use for? Now, there are two scenarios. One is that for is used as a preposition. That means in front of, right? It is a vexel preposition. That means it can either take accusative case or can take dative case, right? That's what we have learned so far. Now, here we'll also be emphasizing where else can we use for, right? So, the first scenario is that while expressing your emotions, your feelings, right? then also you can use for so for example i want to say out of love out of anger out of worry out of pain out of curiosity out of anger out of courage like that way right so that out of can be replaced with for but if you make sure that one thing that you have to notice is that after for there will be a noun so for anger right that means out of anger for schmetzen that means out of pain for zorge that means out of worry right so in that way you will use for now let's see an example die kinder tanzten vor freude im zimmer die kinder tanzten vor freude im zimmer the children were dancing in the room out of freedom so they were dancing enjoying their freedom right so for freude f has to be capital now one thing that you have to make sure here is for will be taking dative case here right for will be used with dative so when do we use for the first one was seelische empfindungen seelische empfindungen als ursache des verhaltens as a cause of a behavior of something right als ursache des verhaltens stehen meist mit for plus that if now let's see the second scenario now the second scenario is that when anything is being influenced from outside when anything is being influenced from outside then also we use for for example out of cold out of warmth out of fog right like because of fog we couldn't see some meters away right so we could not see 10 meters wide because of fog so anything that has a reason of the outside influences oisera ein flusser oisera ein flusser right so then also we use for now for example for kelta for kelta sitata ish out of cold i was shivering so ish sitata for kelter oder for kelter sitata ish one thing that you have to keep in mind always is that the verb at the second place now i hope that you got the difference that hum for ko as a preposition bhi use kar sakte hain aur for ko yahan par bhi use kar sakte hain lekin yahan par for ka matlab in front of nahi hoga for ka matlab yahan par out of ya because of hoga because because of a reason of something this thing is happening right because i'm angry so i'm using this out of anger out of love right now let's move to the example the patient had a solche schmerzen the patient was having such a pain that she loud shriek that she was crying so badly so loudly right now how can i say it with using for i can say for solche schmerzen for solche schmerzen 
Shri Z loud, right? Shri Z loud, or I can also say Z Shri loud for Zolcha Schmetzen. The verb has to be at the second place. Only that you have to make sure. So I hope you got the point that without saying the complete sentence that she was having such a pain, we simply use for Zolcha Schmetzen. Shri Z loud. She was crying loudly. Now I hope that you got the example. Now you have to do some exercises as your homework. Now let's move to the exercises part. So this was the end of our video. I really hope that you like the content as well as understood ki four ko feelings express karne ke liye bhi bol sakte hain. That can be used as your shortcut trick for A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So please share it with your friends, family, and everyone around you. So for today. Auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen und ciao. Namaste.